Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel. I am Natalie. I'm going to teach you some handstands and today we have a lovely quiet focused handstand class um, with extra focus on core strength and stability. Let's get started with the warm up. Before we get started with our warm up, just uh, get something like a roller. It can be a pillow. It can also be a little inflatable ball. We're going to do some stability exercises with this in a second. It doesn't have to look like this. Um, just something light enough so that you can squeeze it between the legs and lift your legs at the same time. So let's start as I always like to start feet parallel and picture the front of your stomach just like one big um, flat piece, draw everything closer to the spine, keep it there. Let's roll the shoulders backwards, big shoulder circles. Really come to the front, up, back, down, front, up, back, down. We're going to go to the front and reverse it. And as you go to the front, notice how your shoulder blades are moving on your back as you are doing this exercise. Shoulder movement is always movement of the shoulder blade. Let's go to the back. You're going to point your thumbs backwards. Come to parallel here at the top. When you feel your maximum point of shoulder mobility, draw your stomach in, push the shoulders up, go up and over your maximum point. Keep reaching to the back with your fingers. Complete the circle. Come back to parallel. Thumbs pointing backwards. Maximum point of mobility. You draw your stomach in. You push the shoulders up and reach behind you. And again, thumbs pointing backwards. Maximum point of mobility here. Elbows are straight. Draw the stomach in. Push up and over. Let's reverse this. Reach behind you with the fingers. Reach, 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 reach behind you here. Come to parallel. Make sure once that you look at your elbows. Are they straight? Straighten them. Bring the arms down two more times. Reach behind you here as far as you can. When you're here with the hands right behind you, draw the stomach in one more time. Come back to parallel, check are your elbows straight and bring the arms down one more time. Back behind you, reach, reach, reach. S draw the stomach in, parallel, elbows straight and come down. Very good. Step the legs here into a straddle position. Uh, curve the upper back, bend the knees. Reach behind you in a diagonal as far as you can. Curve and bend reach behind you. So this is all about increasing your shoulder mobility, curve and thoracic spine mobility. Reach behind you, curve, reach behind you, curve, reach behind you. Very good. Let's come down to the mat, warming up the wrists here. Fingers spread really wide in a diagonal here in front of you. Push into the floor, rock back in front. Elbows are pointing to the front as much as you can find a comfortable uh, stretch here in your wrists. And let's circle above the wrist. So you're just going to circle the shoulders above the wrists. You should never feel any pain. Just um, identify the point where you feel a gentle resistance in the wrists. And let's reverse the circle. So we're focusing on finding more space here, not on jamming the joint. Okay, great. So hands here in a diagonal, fingers spread very wide. Push up onto the fingertips while at the same time still pressing into the floor. Come back down, press and down. Let's go for 16 more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Really press into the floor. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, great. Let's repeat this just for five times in a four point position here. So we're going to just press up 
onto the fingertips by pressing the fingers into the floor until the base of your hand lifts and you come up onto the fingertips. Come back down. Press the fingertips into the floor and come up. Three more times. One, two, three. Okay, great. Push back here now onto your toes. We will come into a squat position. So first of all here I'm stretching my Achilles and then once you find a squat position your heels don't have to be on the floor. Straighten the legs using the weight of your head to deepen the stretch. If you can't put your hands fully on the floor put them on your shins. You can also use blocks here of course. Come back to your squat position. Once take the hands off the floor reach to the front find balance here. Bring the hands back onto the floor and straighten. Deepen the stretch. One more time. Come back to your squat. And just give it a go. Try and find balance here. Bring the hands to the front. Balance. Two, three. Hands on the floor. All right. Okay, very good. Now from here, let's come to the floor and make sure that we have a nice um, strong core here before we start doing our handstands. So come to lying on the floor, hands, palms facing upwards towards the ceiling. We're going to tilt the chin to the chest as much as possible and bring the shoulder blades off the floor. Hands here right by your knees, palms facing up. Keep them rotating up. We hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back down to the floor. Bring one leg up straight. Flex, flex the foot as much as you can, straighten the knee as much as you can and now try to draw the toes closer to you. Keep your knee straight, foot flexed, draw the toes closer to you and a bit closer, a bit closer and closer, relax, other leg. Flex, straight, keep it flexed, draw the toes towards you and a bit more a bit more, a little bit more and bring the foot back to the floor. One more time, palms facing the ceiling. Chin tilts to the chest first because we don't want to strain the neck. Lift up, make the hands meet your knees. Stay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, stay here, stay here, lift one leg off, squeeze the knees together here, squeeze them together. And now can you lift the heel of the other foot also off? So you can stay here or you can take it one step further, join the other leg to meet your foot here. Hands are by your knees, hold for one, two, three, four. Five. Now you only bend the right knee down. Right knee bends down. The left stays up. We hold for one, two, three, four, five. And then bring everything down to the floor. Very good. Let's try that one more time. Chin folds to the chest. Hands come up to meet your knee. Now you're going to straighten the left. Straighten. Squeeze the knees together. Hold for one. Two, three, four, five. Both feet lift off for one. Two, three, four, five. And left leg down, everything down. Okay, great. Turn around once. Let's stretch out the front. Just gently stretch out the front by pushing the chest up, stretching the front body a bit. Make sure you keep a little bit of engagement in the core, squeezing the glutes. Look up at the ceiling, shoulders down. And come back. Okay. So we'll take whatever you've got here to um, be an equivalent to this roller. I'm going to take this between my feet and I'm going to squeeze it together. One elbow is on the floor, one hand here in front of me. You can also um, bring the hand here reaching above you. And first of all, we will only hold it here. 
hovering a little bit above the floor. So my hip is touching the floor, knees and feet are off the floor. We hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stay here. We're going to move the feet a little bit to the front and behind you. So I'm pushing into the floor here with my hand. Move the feet in front, behind you. Two more times. In front, behind, in front, behind. And bring it down to the floor. Let's change sides. So if you're feeling that this gives you a bit of an uncomfortable pressure here with the hip on the floor, then just put something soft underneath, uh, underneath the hip bone. Okay, great. So let's again lift the legs off the floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it to the front. Bring it to the back. Legs to the front. To the back. Two more times. To the front. To the back. To the front to the back. Okay, bring the legs down to the floor and come up to standing. So this is a great exercise for your obliques, which you want to have really strong for um, having balance and control in the handstand. Let's start with a little kick up exercise. I'm going to do this here on the mat. You can, of course, do this with the wall behind you. And um, this is sort of uh, not quite beginner's level, it's a little bit more intermediate. So if anything is too difficult, you just go back to the exercise we did before. So let's go into a half kick up here, starting with, whoop, I'm going to knock this over. Da -da -da. Half kick up. Half kick up means that it's only one leg that's going up and the other one is ready to still reach towards the floor. So I'm rounding my back here and then I am pushing my heel, driving it up to the ceiling. Driving it up to the ceiling. I'm not whacking it behind me. My jumping leg here stays straight and I'm kind of feeling as if I'm stretching the legs here into an opposite direction. Stretching rather than jumping with a big impact. You can do this stepping into the handstand or with your hands on the floor. We're going to do five together for two sets. Uh, let's go and start for one and two and three and four and five. Good. So we are not aiming at balance yet. We are trying to gain control over the kick up process to build a stable base of the shoulders and the arms and to build a stable momentum driving the heel up and slightly back not just whacking the leg behind us. You want to get the chest up in the kick up. You want to get the chest up mainly here, build a strong base, chest up rather than leaving the chest behind. I have a more detailed video only about the kick up, which I'm going to do in the description, put in the description box below where you can check this. Let's do another set. You can change legs. I'm not going to change legs. But I would recommend that you change legs. <laughs> Let's go for five. And one. Push into the floor around the back. Two. And three. Four. Five. Okay, great. Let us do a diagonal wall handstand, which I really like giving people as an exercise to feel your core muscles working in the handstand, right? So what you want to do in the handstand is push the shoulders up as much as possible to open, but you want to keep a continuous core engagement. So um, the best way to start this exercise is from a downward facing dog and then bring one leg up onto the wall, engage the core muscles and then join with the other leg. Let me show you. So I've got like an approximately a downward facing dog position here. 
I'm going to bring one leg up. When my foot touches the wall, I pull the front of my stomach towards the spine, making sure I have very good core engagement before I hover the other foot above the floor and then make it join. So here I'm keeping a continuous core engagement, drawing the stomach in, pushing the shoulders up. And any time I want to, I can step back down. So if you've tried this once now, make sure you also know the exit route. Your exit route will be to step the leg down. Yeah, you always want to make sure you know how to come out of a position when you're using the wall. Let's hold this together for 15 seconds. And find your position on the wall here. Join the other foot. Core is engaged, shoulders are elevated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Step back down smoothly, smoothly without a sound. We will repeat this, but now I would like to do our first handstand balance. Again, you can do this with the back to the wall. I'm going to do it freestanding. I will encourage you to do this freestanding too. Let's try and hold together for 15 seconds. And if you can already balance relatively well, I would encourage you to find a good mix between, between muscular engagement and softness. So if you can balance, try to find the softness where can you let go a little bit? Do you really need to work that hard? It's just all about keeping everything stacked on top of each other in an efficient way, not using as much force as possible. So let's kick up to a straight line and hold together. And let's hold here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, come down. We'll do this one more time, then we'll move on to straddle and tuck shapes. If you find it hard to breathe in a handstand, then count the numbers together with me. Counting will ensure that you are actually breathing. Breathing, <laughs> breathing through the handstand. Let's do another 15 seconds together. And kick up. Hold with me for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Come back down. We'll do our downward facing dog exercise once together. Holding for 15 seconds, strong core engagement. And get ready. One leg is on the wall, the other leg joins. Core engagement, drawing the stomach to the spine, shoulders are elevated for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, come down. Okay, great. So I would propose to you that we do kick up, straddle, come back down, kick up, tuck, come back down. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to kick up, find my balance, straddle, Come down smoothly, ideally. Kick up. Tuck. Step one leg down after the other or come down with both legs at the same time. With the wall, it's going to look like this. Kick up. Hips touch the wall. Straddle. And then if you want to, you can push yourself away from the wall here with one foot. Come down. Kick up. Tuck, again we want the hips to touch only, hips, 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 hips touching, push against the wall, come back out of the position. So if you're doing this with the wall, please make sure you only touch with the hips, not with the feet, because we don't want to have an arched back. 
So my suggestion would be we do this six times. So it's going to be three of each set. And we only want to kind of aim for finding a quick balance in the straight and uh, straddle position. And I would encourage you to make sure you control your landing as much as possible because the, m the softer you land, the more you are working your shoulders to control the position. Let's go and kick up and straddle, come down. That was number one. Let's go again. This time through the tuck, kick up, tuck, and come out of the position. I do the next two with the wall so you can see a bit more what that looks like. Let's kick up, kick up. Find your straddle position with the wall. Push yourself out of the position. Let's do the same thing in the tuck. Kick up. Tuck. Push yourself away from the wall. Two more rounds. Let's do. Kick up. Straddle. Come down. One more time in the tuck. Kick up. Tuck. Come down. All right, to finish off, choose a shape that you like to do. Straight, tuck, straddle, freestanding with the wall. We'll hold two times, 15 seconds together. Whichever shape that you're in, I would like you to make sure that you elevate the shoulders and open a little bit more by pushing the arms back. So you don't want to lean into the shoulders, you want to push up and back and make sure that you are not sticking the chest out. Stomach in, don't crank the head back too much. Let's go, 15 seconds, shape of your choice and kick up. Hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Come down with control. <sighs> Very good. Almost done. One more. All right. Find your position. And get up into your handstand. And let's hold for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Come back down. Very good. Okay, let's come one more time down to lying on the floor. Because this is a core stability focus handstand class, of course, we'll finish with some more core work. So um, here, let's just do a 20 second dish hold. But we're going to do one leg first, then the other, then a short burst of five seconds um, together at the same time. So I want you to focus on really drawing the stomach in, pushing the lower back into the floor. So let's lift the chin off the floor, shoulders off the floor. You can flex the foot here and then hold it here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten switch legs, the other leg front, flex the foot, lift the back a bit more off the floor for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten short bursts of five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, great. Let's finish with the stretch on the wall. Here. Bring the arms up into a high diagonal, and yeah, I would like you to allow the chest, your whole chest, to sink down to the wall as much as possible. 
And you can step the legs a little bit wider here too. That can help to just completely release the chest towards the wall. Look up at the ceiling and find space here in the shoulders. You don't want to pinch anything in the shoulders. You want to find space. If you feel a pinching sensation, push the shoulders up a little bit and experiment with where exactly your shoulders have to be in order for you to open the chest up fully. So my suggestion would be to draw the shoulder blades slightly together. Okay, come out of the position. Fingers locked here behind you, push the chest to the front. And hold. And release. End of the handstand class dance. Okay, uh, thank you very much for practicing with me as always. I hope that this was a refreshing and focused handstand practice that you can repeat every day. Um, have a look at my 30-day uh, courses as well if you like to do a class like this every day. If you like my handstand classes, I have a Patreon account where you can support my work. And otherwise, thank you and have a great day.